Guys, Crew Man here with the RTX 4090 Founders Edition Revision 2. And in this video, I'm going to go over how to install the cable on a 850 watt power supply or a larger than 850 watt power supply, and how to connect these to the power supply, and how to install it on a computer. I will be using my test bench, which I need to install it on anyway, and I will be using the uh, 4090 cable adapter to connect it, or the 12 volt high powered cable adapter, as I call it. So before we get started, I just wanna let you guys know that I've done quite a few cable videos. This is the third 4090 that I own. I've installed them on power supplies ranging from 850 watts to 1200 watts, and I've used them for months. I've owned one of these since release, and I've never had any problems, and I've never had any burn-in, or any cable melting, or any issues. Um, my main 4090, which is in my gaming rig, has been installed and uninstalled, with about five or six different cables, maybe seven or eight times, and I've never had any issues with it, and this is a launch day MSI gaming trio. Hopefully that gives me enough credibility for you guys to know that I know what I'm talking about. So let's get started. So first, let's get started. Why is this the revision two? Well, the reason it is revision two is because if you look in here, I'm sorry, revision one, if you look in here, these four pins right here, they are small. They normally come out to basically the edge of the plastic, but they only go to about half of the plastic. And the reason this is, is apparently the it makes it a lot easier for the user to install the cable without any having any issues that caused the cables to melt. Essentially, NVIDIA found that through its studies of damaged samples, that it was basically user error, and Gamers Nexus confirmed that. I can put a link down below for anybody who wants to do more research on the topic. So anyway, that is the difference between the revision two or revision one and revision zero. So let's go over the cable. So this is the this is the cable that comes with the 4090. Uh, now basically, if you're going to use 850 watt power supply and you don't want to overclock it, you only need to use three pit three plugs. Now, if, even if you're going to use a larger power supply and you don't want to overclock it, you only need to use three to get the full performance of this thing. It only needs 450 watts to get its full performance and you won't have any issues. However, if you want to overclock it for records or for whatever reason or just because you can, you need to use all four plugs and at least a 1000 watt power supply. So with that sorted out, let me show you how to get this installed. So essentially you need to line everything up. You see the top sensor needs to be aligned with the top. So you line everything up and you just kind of drop it in. As you can see here, it's dropped in. Now, what you wanna do is you need to push it in, you need to hear a click sound. Now listen, listen carefully. You heard that click sound? That means it is in and everything is safe. Now one thing you might wanna do before you, put the, before you install the cable, it, depending on your case, you may need to bend these cables. Now you wanna pre-bend these cables like so. That way, you won't have to bend it when it's hooked in. Now I actually just unplugged the cable already and it took no time at all to unplug it. It's actually a lot easier to install than revision zero, which was kind of interesting. I wasn't sure what to expect. All right, now I get a lot of questions on how to connect this to the power supply. So we're gonna go over that real quick. Now you have to have your, you have to make sure your power supply, this is an HX 850, it's powered multiple 3080s can is at least 850 watts and has at least three PCIe cables, all right? And when I say three, I don't mean these ends right here, right? Where one becomes two, that is not acceptable. I'm talking just a single end. You need three like this. So essentially what you have to do is one of these to one of these. Now, if you wanna overclock it or you know, just plug in all four because you can, you still need one to one. You cannot just plug this in to not have this unplugged or to, to not have this look like it's unplugged. You cannot do that. If it really bothers you, just go ahead and order a three adapter. MSI makes them and I know other companies do as well. So what you need to do is you need to basically go like this. You need to go one PCIe cable to one of the adapters connectors one PCIe cable to one adapter connector and you need three if you run two it won't start and if you run uh, you know you daisy chain one you're gonna melt the cables don't ask for any any exceptions because there is none this is a hard 
and steadfast rule. This cannot be changed, so please do not try to change it. All right, I got gotten so many questions on this. Um, it's it's a power reason. Basically, what you're going to do is, without getting too technical, you're going to put too much power. Uh, these things are going to pull more power than these cables are rated to safely transmit, and you're going to melt the cables. And that is not what we want. And the point of this video is to prevent you guys from melting your cables. All right, guys. So if you needed this, good. And if you didn't, I hope you just skipped it. Now let's move on to installing the 4090 the 4090 into the test bench. As you can see, the 4090 is a massive GPU. I actually had to reconfigure my test bench to make it fit. Uh, quick, a few quick installation tips. One thing I would definitely recommend is getting some kind of, you know, uh, bracket, support bracket. This one right here is one that I've seen you. You squeeze it in there and it can be as high or as low as you need and it will support your GPU. I have an Amazon affiliate link for that down below. And then I have another one you can use as well. I've used both. They work really well. So let's get on to installing the cable. Okay, so I would absolutely, by the way, recommend installing your GPU before you install your cable. Uh, you definitely don't want to be messing around with that because this is heavy. This GPU is very, very, very heavy and very hard to get into PCI slot correctly. And um, if you're going to install it vertically like this, I would not then try to move it on the motherboard. You know, my test bench is vertical for a reason. If your PC is vertical, that's fine. You can definitely use this in an open air frame. But like I said, make sure you have your support bracket ready to go and everything before you install this. And, you know, I would certainly install it on, in your PC with your case lying down like this. And then once it's all secure and you can ch check that it's straight, then I would go ahead and, you know, go like that or basically just tilt it over. All right, so back to the cable. So basically, again, you want to line up the cable, as you can see right here, right there. Make sure before you tighten it, if you don't like the way it looks, make sure you do some bends. Like I'm not happy with how that just came out. So I just re-bent it. Okay. Basically, am I okay with that? I think I am for what I need. Uh, no, I think I'm going to bend it one more time, actually. Thanks for bearing with me, guys. I just want to show you the process to know that it's okay to bend these cables. All right, so I bent it again. Now I'm going to listen for that click. You ready? And now this is the old Corsair cable on the new revision 4090, and it will work just fine. I'm going to go for the click in three, two, click. All right, guys. So it's installed on my test bench, and everything is good. Thank you for watching. I hope I covered everything in this video. I even tried to cover things that I thought would be answered in the comments. Uh, as you can see, everything looks great. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more 4090 content. I'll be doing a lot of content comparing both revisions. And remember, you do not need all of them, just three. Crew man, out.